we possibly have another uh, company that once offered um, extremely cheap deals and cheap figures and whatnot um, that is under possible collapse and that being DX um, collectibles so um, you can see their website at the moment has this 30% off store wide sale um, 11 days 11 hours 9 minutes 4 seconds um, is this the timer that they're trading for and then disappearing I don't know um, the main reason for concern is when you go hot toys uh, everything is gone except these four cos babies that are supposedly in stock um, the rest of the website is, is pretty much bare bones there's this inquisitor statue um, which you can see they've applied the 30% off to um, but uh, basically it's a mess at the moment um, you can go through and see like what what items they've got but again you're going to different franchises that have heaps of merch at the moment and you're seeing three items or two items or whatever it may be um, the website is, is pretty much bare bones uh, so on the 1-6 galaxies uh, group page um, we have Uh, put up this post um, so I'll just leave it on the screen so that way you can read it um, pretty much um, a couple of collectors knew the owner of the company and reached out to him and they were blocked instantly um, the owner has changed his profile picture uh, so that way it's different um, from various uh, screenshots that were taken before he started blocking people um, I, but I don't think his account's being monitored anymore I myself sent him a message and I've gotten uh, nothing um, someone did raise a PayPal dispute and they were able to get um, their money back instantly however for the second PayPal dispute a old tracking number has has been provided to PayPal uh, to say that all, f all items in the order were shipped um, when actually the items in the order aren't even out in Hong Kong yet so that's uh, impossible so he's, he's lying to PayPal now um, some collectors can't get into their accounts and again when they email the um, help desk the help desk hasn't responded um, some people have been waiting a week two weeks uh, for the help desk to get back to them uh, pretty much um, when you go through the comments on this page as well um, again you'll see um, this is, yeah, Jordan's the guy that had the, um, refund issue. Um, Matt hasn't received his buy to get one free thing. Um, in fact, as of writing, no one, I've, no one has gotten the free figure. Um, so that's a shame. Um, so yeah, there's just different things, uh, here, there's, um, some advice um, and then some action that people have taken against uh, them etc so I'll leave that up there uh, if you wish to pause and have a read through that as well um, but yeah pretty much I reckon these guys are gone um, the same way that Bulletproof Villain went um, their actions especially yesterday or Monday sorry um, were mirror to what happened with Bulletproof Villain uh, before Bulletproof Villain um, collapsed and again very similar to Big Chief Studios where the only thing on their website currently is, is the marked down stock so um, there's a very slim chance I could be wrong but the owner is blocking people um, and I, I think that's it if he's um he could have easily just said sorry I don't take um, inquiries on my Facebook page please email yada yada but he just straight out blocked people that send him messages so um, that's a shame anyway guys uh, public service announcement is here thank you for watching um, if you do want to share this information around feel free to do so uh, but yeah currently um, I've only seen it shared here uh, because it's our members in the chat um, that are been having the issues with this I personally don't have any orders with them um, however I will tell you one of our admins um, 
originally he was very skeptical, so he wanted to pick his item up in person. Um, originally they were reluctant, but then they said, okay, sure. Uh, so they gave him the address. Um, now this could be the reason for their collapse. Um, to have an icon account, you, you have to have a physical storefront. Um, the address he got sent to was a pretty much abandoned office. Um, and it wasn't even a proper office. Um, he did share a photo to the chat, I believe. Um, I'm not too sure if that photo is still around, but um, I can't even remember if it said, I don't even think it said DX Collectibles on the door. I think it was just a, a normal office um, that they were working out of, uh, and they weren't even there um, to greet him or anything, um, so he couldn't actually pick his item up. He then had to message them back, and they apologised for no one being there. They even actually accused him of going to the wrong office uh, and claimed that they knew nothing about the office and the fact that they were an actual store. But um, the address he went to was the address they provided, and they once again provided that exact same address if he wanted to try again. And he said, no, just post it. And he did get his item. But again, um, now that the item he should have been getting for free, that being the Doc Ock, is in stock, um, these guys are nowhere to be found. And I believe he was one of the people blocked by the owner. Uh, when he asked about his doc up. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's a wrap up. Um, do what you will with this information. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful.